tugboat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. Sometimes a real bad character sailed into big city port. But on the day I'm remembering, no one suspected trouble. We were worrying about the high winds coming. Tug work would be difficult. Hey, ten cents. A great dawn, eh? Yeah, don't be fooled by appearances, sunshine. You know what Captain Star says? Red sky at night, sailors delight. Red sky in the morning, sailors warning. Oh, it's, it's bad weather coming then. Yeah, strong winds on the way. It'll be here soon. Huh? Get a move on, you two. The storm flags are out. Aye, we know, Jim. We're just seeing. Well, we? then get on with that. Hercules is already out answering a mayday. When you deliver that oil, bring in Scuttlebutt Pete. He's dredging in the bay. Aye, aye, sir. Yeah, we're off now. There'll be some extra jobs to batten down before the storm hits the harbour. Come on, sunshine. No time for daydreaming. No, hold it. Good morning, Zebedee. What's good about it? High wind's underway. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of work to do today. Oh, hey, what's going on? He's cut right across us. Yeah, he would. Just when we're in a hurry. Come on. Oi, come on. Hey, look how many he's torn. Yeah, four. He likes to show he's as strong as any Z-Stacks tug. Oh, look. Look, he's losing one. Hey, you, you, you think we'd better tell him? Yeah, he hasn't seen it. Yeah, I suppose we should. Oi, Zebedee! I'm first. It's my right away. You'll have to wait. Yeah, you've lost one of your barges. It's going adrift. You haven't me young. Oh. Yeah, don't worry. I'll hold it till you secure it. Don't interfere. I can manage. Oh, suit yourself. Just offering to be helpful, that's all. We don't need anything startles us to offer. Do it your own way, then. Hey, uh, 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 wait. Uh, uh, hold it for me, will uh, you? Uh, thanks. Uh, uh. Johnny Cuba had dropped anchor, waiting till he wasn't seen. Nobody in sight. That's what I like. Trying to slip in close at a port and uh, <laughs> meet my business pals. <laughs> At Johnny Cuba's idea of a business pal was like himself, a gangster. Zebedee was out, as he'd been told, looking for ships or steamers, even fishing boats that might need a tow. Anything that might please Captain Zero. Ah, oh, Johnny Cuba. Oh, dear. Well, well, well. Captain Zero's little Zebby. Hello, Johnny. I mean, uh, Mr. Cuba. Uh, good day. Nice to see you. Listen, uh, do something for me. Slip me into the harbour so I'm not breaking the law, eh? I'll see you all right. I'd love to, sir. Honest, I would. But no I ifs, no buts, Zebedee. I need a tow right now. The wind's making me angry, upsetting me plans. Sorry, sir. But you see, Captain Zero's giving me other orders. Listen to me, kid. Zero owes me, understand? So don't get funny or you'll be in deep trouble. And I do mean deep. The gangster told Zebedee to tow him to the old docks that hadn't been used for years, where he'd arranged to meet his criminal friends. I don't like it here, and it's out of bounds to ship and... Too bad. 
Now, I need coal right away. And be quick about it or I'll break your stack. You mean stealers? Did I say steal? Just get it when nobody's looking. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. And don't try anything fancy, or you'll find yourself at the bottom of the harbour with cement on your hold. <laughs> Zebedee was now in a terrible situation. Johnny Cuba would sink him if he didn't help him. And because of something that happened years ago between those two, he knew Captain Zero would sink him if he did. So he couldn't go and tell the captain, could he? While Zebedee was trying to work this out, he saw the two star switchers out in the bay struggling with Scuttlebutt Pete. Come on, you two. Good sort of deal. Or he won't get me home before the star breaks. I cannot hold you, man. Oh, oh. We're doing our best. Do better than that. You've got to. Oh, look, on, the wind's too strong. Oh, what am I going to do? If only I could fix one more line. Oi, oh. Zebedee. Give us hands. So he can't stop the Martin Jones do. Now just hold him steady while I get another line of ball, that's all. Why should I? Well, because we're in trouble, that's why. And you are smart to look bad, you. Uh, right, just this once, but don't tell Captain Zero. Oh, oh. oh that's it. Thanks, everybody. Aye, oh, that's just what we need. And not a weird scuttle, but... Me? I never gossip. Never. That'll be the day. If Captain Zero knows I helped start up, I lost. We're all squeezing! I want quick, yeah. yeah, thanks. Checking all the time that no one was watching him, Zebedee kept a lookout for coal for Johnny Cuba. Cool. We might just slip one badge away. That'll keep Johnny quiet. We'll worry about Captain Zero later. That's odd. I thought I was the only one stuck with coal deliveries today. I wonder what he's up to. I think I'd better check with Captain Star. Uh, I brought you coal, Mr. Cuba, sir. Yeah, OK, Zebby. I'll put in a good word for you with Zero. Uh, no, uh, please don't do that, Mr. Cuba. I mean, he's bad books as it is. Uh, I mean... You uh... mean he wouldn't like you helping me, eh? That it? Uh, no, uh, I don't mean that. I, I, no, he, he sent me out to, um, you, you know, the wind's causing trouble, and, uh... So... <laughs> you can go, mate. Long as you're back here tonight, OK? No worries. Yeah, whatever you say, no worries, Mr. Cuban, sir. 